Hi everybody, this is the Lucky TJ at Living Metaphysically. I want to make a quick video tonight um, so that I can just share something. One of the things that I love about cryptocurrency is that there's always really fun projects um, to look at whether I choose to invest in them or not. And let me just start by saying that I am not a, um, a, a professional investor. I'm doing it for my own fun and pleasure. Yes, I do have signals with a company that I love, Unify, as you may already know. But um, so I'm not giving investment advice. I'm just sharing some news. And um, the, the subject of tonight's video is the PAL network with the PAL token. So uh, I think it was yesterday or a, day, a couple days ago, I made a video that talked about what you can find on CoinMarketCap. And if you just go where it says trending, you'll see that you can get, you can see gainers and losers and recently added. So the other night, the video was about recently added. And today's was, is gonna be about um, really one of the losers, but it has a fantastic project, at least a, to my, in my opinion, a project that's so cool. So um, I was looking here where it's the biggest gainers and I just showed you how to get there. And you know, it's interesting. Some of these uh, were big, big ICOs last year. Electronium, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But and the biggest losers. Now there's a there's multiple reasons why um, tokens or coins may be losing. Um, it could be because they had an ICO and then when they finally got and people bought them and they really liked the project, they bought the tokens, which um, the company that I'm talking about right now, PAL Network, um, they did have an ICO way back, I think it was in January, um, which I didn't know anything about it. I just heard, of, I just was looking here and saw it tonight. Um, but anyway, my point is that what happens a lot of times is when people buy in an ICO, when the coin gets released into a market, then um, they just sell because that's what they do. They're traders, they're making money, they buy and they sell. That's what the market's all about. Um, some people have other strategies. Maybe they hold on to their coins and um, wait until maybe the coin gets more value. So with this particular coin that I'm talking about tonight, which is number 10 on the biggest losers list, um, it's the PAL network. The symbol is P-A-L and the volume is 3 million. And one of the other interesting things about it is that it is literally listed on one of the biggest exchanges. And how you find that out is even though it doesn't cost a lot, here's the total supply. It's 1 billion PALs. Right now, the circulating uh, supply is 417 million. The market cap is 5 million. Uh, uh, you know, well, it's a little over 5 million, not a little, but 200,000 uh, over 5 million. So, you know, it's got a lot of room to grow. I particularly don't necessarily like to uh, invest in coins that have too much uh, total supply, it's just my preference. I don't, I'm not, like I said, a professional. Uh, trader or financial advisor or anything. I just like like to look and I make up my own opinion. Um, so what I was going to say is also that the market that it's on, it's on, it's listed on Bittrex. And if you don't know anything about markets, uh, crypto markets, Bittrex is one of the uh, most uh, highest traded trading markets that's out here. You know, a lot of people trade on Binance, um, Bittrex, there's several other big ones. So um, to be on Bittrex is a really big deal. So, and Bittrex has, um, it has uh, almost a million dollars of volume. So that's pretty good. Now I don't know much about Dobie Trade, but this company is out of, uh, I think Singapore, let me look. Anyway, back, I'll get back to that.
But anyway, like I was saying, um, I was researching them. So another thing I was going to say is, if you're researching, I support you to research um, crypto in general. Like, learn about it, become informed about it, see what people are saying. Don't take them at, at face value, but do your own homework. Do your own research so you can know, like, um, you know, how can you navigate in this ever growing and changing, well, a, a growing world of cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency is here to stay, in my opinion. It's not going to go anywhere. So, um, in our lifetime, cryptocurrency has a good chance of, like, becoming part of what is uh, a huge, huge, huge part of everybody's lives because it solves so many problems for so many people. And people are not going to allow crypto, in my opinion, they're not going to allow crypto to just go away because it brings a way for people to be able to have money who, who are living without any means of having money. And money itself, whether, you know, it's just an idea that people have accepted. So if you, when you think of um, countries and people and what people have decided was important, about how to exchange um, currency of any type, you know, there's there were lots of choices that people had, and people early on um, traded um, assets. Well, they weren't assets; <laughs> they weren't being called assets, but people would just make trades. You're a farmer; you traded your vegetables for somebody else who had something you wanted. Maybe a blacksmith who could um, shoe your horse. Or, or, you know, people trading, trading so that they can live um, together and uh, have ways to be able to get items that they didn't have on their own. And so uh, money is a result of this type of um, uh, trading back and forth with people. And instead of uh, trading, um, you know, uh, possessions, you know, like making you know, scarves or hats and then, you know, trading those for somebody else who, who maybe makes shoes or someone else who will take care of your dog or kids. Like, you know, we've used, a, we use currency, which is money, um, and it's fiat, and, and for, according to what country you're in, like, it's called whatever it is. And it's just an agreement between people that will use this to represent um, some sort of value, and which is the reason why... It, that it's really easy to apply that idea onto a different thing, digital currency, cryptocurrency, because it's very easy to change um, the form of the thing that represents this idea. Anyway, um, when, you're nav when you're out here looking in the crypto world, a lot of people look at coin market cap, and you can find out basic information by just going right on here and you can find the markets, you can find the charts. Um, so you, you, you can change these charts so that you can see uh, different dates. Um, this is all time. You can see it from three months ago, what's been going on with it. So it's not, and you know, one thing I want to talk about is that I'm not recommending anybody do anything with um, the PAL network or the PAL coin. It's just an interesting project. So, and you may want to keep it like in the back of your mind and say, hey, what is going on with that? Because if it does anything, um, so if it does anything, then you will have had like some, um, a little bit of notice. And so maybe one day if it does uh, gain in value and you bought some now, um, then you would be able to make some money with it. And also uh, it's, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good project. Anyway, like I said, I want to make this video pretty short. Let me tell you what the power network is all about though. Um, let's just go back here. So it's saying, here's an article on Medium and it's talking about how the power network um, is listed on Bittrex, which is really fantastic. And um, here's, here's a little synopsis about it. Power Network is a dual layered protocol for financial a assets that uses data to bridge the gap between consumers and insurance providers by providing a new level of, of accessibility within the financial ecosystem. And the company 
also works with insurers to provide crypto protect insurance coverage for digital assets and smart contracts. So, you know, what does that mean? It's um, they have been figuring out that. Um, so I did. This is one reason why I kind of wanted to wait to wait to um, talk about this is because I did look up a bunch of little pieces of information. I may do a little more extensive um, video on this project, um, but essentially what it is is that the CEO who is uh, her name is wait one second. Um, all right, let's just go back to the. The white paper. Oh, one thing about them. Sorry to sound so scattered. Is that what if the white paper is one of the? So I haven't been looking at that many ICOs in a while. So I haven't been. You know, in 2018, I was like, oh no, no more ICOs. Forget all that. I did a lot of ICOs last year in 2017. They did not turn out so super well. Some of them did. Tezos is one, um, but then there were many other ones that were horrible. And so I just thought I will stay out of the ICO game. So I haven't been reading that many um, uh, um, white papers. But this white paper is fantastic. Um, and the reason why I'm saying it is because I read a lot of white papers that, you know, it's funny looking back. I, they, to, right now, it's almost obvious. Hey, look at that. Um, it's almost obvious that they were like screwed up companies. Whoops. Um, so it's really interesting how you can tell, you know, there's, uh, if you're just learning about crypto, um, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to be able to see, like, you know, where ne instantly now, if I would see a white paper that looked like the ones that I saw last year, I would never have gotten into them. But I know why I got into some of the ICOs last year is because it was well, FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And I was in a group with people and people were saying, oh, we're getting into this. And, you know, it was, you know, one guy, he was making a lot of money, he quit his job. So I'm, I'm attracted to the idea um, of actually um, living on crypto or living on some sort of passive income and just being able to have money coming in uh, via um, working in a different way than just me going out every day and trading all my time for money in the traditional way. Um, so back to the white paper, the white paper starts explaining. So I, I was also going to say that the white papers last year were just almost carbon copies of a bunch of nothing, but uh, where they just, you know, they just said, oh, you know, this is a white paper for, and we, we're, we do this and we do that. And it was just like the same nothing it had like a zero message, um, and it didn't tell anything about uh, the the team. You know, basically would repeat things like, "Okay, well, we, you know, we have a great team or whatever," and, and it just wouldn't. So I don't know how I even fell for all of that, but you know, that's okay. I was learning. I had a lot. I had a, a sort of a somewhat expensive, but not too expensive, lesson of last year. So this white paper, meanwhile, um, once it goes through all of these. Uh, disclaimers, etc. It starts saying that, and this company actually has been around. This Another great thing about this company is it's October the 26th. This company has been around since April of 2016 and it, it has been, um, it, it has been, it's, there's some exciting things to know about it that I was reading uh, further down in, in it where it was picked uh, by PayPal as one of the here I'll, I'll show you that all right wait a minute um, some of the some of the companies that like this project I thought was pretty cool if I can find that uh, all right wait a minute so the roadmap quarter four all right here it is um Policy Pal Singapore is one of the three startups selected by PayPal for their nine month incubation program based in Singapore. Uh, and I thought that was pretty cool. It was also um, 
uh, with startup bootcamp fintech is leading. Um, so fintech, you know, I've heard of, and uh, they they were involved. They they like this project. So it was a bunch of investors that had some sort of um, public awareness that people respect respectability um, that like this project. So I just want to go back. Um, let's see if we can just go back up. Okay, so let's talk about what the project actually is, because it's so fascinating. So uh, the CEO, whose name is Val Yap, um, has started this project after she needed, she had some tragedies in her life, and she needed to be able to uh, um, get in, she got into the insurance um, industry, and the thing that this project, I'm going to summarize this really quickly, and then maybe, like I said, I'll go into a longer video because it's got, it's got, uh, it's really interesting, is that she found that there was a need in the insurance industry to try to protect um, uh, people from being able to be um, scammed, and you know, once she worked on that, she realized that in the crypto space, the that to say that there was a need uh, to protect um, insure people who are dealing with insurance, and I think that that's really fascinating because this is not the first project that I heard of. There was a project, actually, it changed names um, that I knew about uh, back in the summer, who also has um, the uh, the vision of protecting assets, but. Um, not in, not not cryptocurrency, and um, so it's saying that their mission is to transform the digital insurance space and fill a gaping hole of digital protection that is in demand with the high new breed of c consumers uh, in the volatile and fast moving space of cryptocurrencies. Crypto assets are frequently exposed to the ever changing combination of threats like wallet breaches and exchange hacks. So one of the things that happened way before I even got into cryptocurrency um, was that there was a hack um, that happened with Mt. Gox and people lost a lot of Bitcoin. So I love the idea that what they're doing is um, having their, um, using the blockchain to be able to protect people who are uh, in crypto, uh, well crypto assets actually. So. Um, it's going to reduce the insurance fraud, and um, so here it is. It's talking about the automatic claims, reduces the fraud, improves the customer experience. It increases back-end efficiency because it's decentralized, it's fully digi digital, so you don't have to have anything that you can take kind of directly out of people's hands where they can steal it or manipulate it. Um, is going to be really great for everybody because, as it's saying, um, it's safer because, um, you know, sometimes people can have some kind of ideas where they don't want to be the good types of people inside themselves. They just want to do anything, and that would mean that they would take advantage of um, other people and you know, for, uh, you know, do fraudulent activities. So, uh, so when you have people who are out here doing stuff like that, then you have to protect. And so, one of the ways to protect is by being on a blockchain, which is really awesome. So, uh, let's see. Blockchain is more suitable if the following conditions are fulfilled. Uh, it's because it involves involves multiple parties, involves new intermediaries. No need for central trusted authority for executing various transactions. Accurate record of the date and time of each transaction needs to be captured. Retroactive manipulation of data is not encouraged, which, you know, you can't do it. Um, this is on an Ethereum um, platform. Multiple uses of the same data by is possible by, by different stakeholders. So those are things that happen in ordinary non-blockchain transactions. Those those are the risks that are being taken, um, that somebody's going to do all these other types of things. Um, so let's see, what else am I going to say? Uh, 
So I want to show a little bit of one thing that's really cool about projects is how much information they have. And you can also see where, what do they have as far as, I think right here, they don't, they're not showing the social, but I did find from their website, which is, where is that? Sorry about that. Um, all right, here it is. Here's their website. And the website's sparkly too. It's really, really neat. So they do have a test net up. Um, here's their products. It's uh, Palace, which is PAL Network's dual layer, layered protocol test net. Like I just said, token shield, 24 hour protection from price drops, which I'm gonna explore that, make another video, video about it. P2P crypto project, crypto protection for individuals. Um, crypto project voting, proof of concept, which uh, for our private network, that means people will be able to hold and stake um, mint coins and a travel delay insurance. So I don't know, I didn't, I didn't look to see like what each one of these is. I was just very interested in the crypto protect, excuse me. And um, on the website here, it, it, this is another thing that distinguishes them from other web, other projects is because the website has a lot to it. And it's not just a bunch of crap like so that you don't know anything about any any of the people or what they're doing. I mean, it's just giving you a, an abundance of information. So here it is. Why Power Network giving peace of mind to the cryptocurrency community with Crypto Protect. Protecting, yay, on the blockchain. Um, decentralized insurance protocol that optimize policy inception and claims, brings transparency, accessibility, and cost savings to all the stakeholders, mitigates elements of conflict in traditional centralized insurance model, which I already talked about. They have um, Telegram, Twitter, um, what is the, oh, I forgot what this one is. Um, let me see. GitHub, okay, so you can see their stuff on, on GitHub. Here's their wallet. And um, media, the media article, um, medium article, sorry. And then this one is, what's this one again? Oh, I forgot. Uh, whoops. All right. Reddit, yep. All right, so here's where it's saying that the community is 18,000 members and growing. So um, to me, for two years, it's not a whole lot, but nonetheless, I don't know who they're marketing to or who's in charge of their marketing. Here, and, um, but here's their team. So they're in Singapore. They all look kind of young, most of them. But you can see that from what they, you know, they have LinkedIn um, profiles. And also in the white paper, I noticed that there were a lot of explanations about who they are and how they got there. So that's, to me, it's a positive that you can see a lot of information about their team. The team seems to have a lot of experience, even though they look a little bit young, and they also have a really cool, um, I shouldn't say cool, but, it, but you know, when they, their, their um, advisors are people who seem very well established. Here's one woman who's an ex-Facebooker, their um, person who is their head of engineering and technical lead, or software engineers, when I was looking here, you can see their team, you know, like, so the project makes a lot of sense. It solves a lot of pro problems. And um, I think it's, you know, I'd like to see where it's gonna go. I think that it's really neat. Uh, and I'm just scrolling through real fast. Sorry to scroll like this on video. It makes me sound like a crazy person, but I am. I got it to bed too. Um, so wait a second. I just want to go back down and show you so you can get all this information yourself. So here's a list of the 14 individuals who make up the, um, the team and they all have a variety of backgrounds from insurance, finance, and technology and they worked at these different companies. So when you look at and you read these, um, it's really interesting because the CEO has a background in 
um, banking and also um, insurance. He won some awards, etc. Here, each person has some some great stuff. Um, for, you know, reading when I'm reading their bios, it's they you know they sound like you know they've been established in their field, and so I'm just going to close by saying that this is a project to take an, take a look at, um, and you can follow them on Twitter. And you can see what they're doing. They have a lot of posts. Is it, it isn't as though so. One thing that I really like about projects is if they have a lot of interaction and posts on Twitter and Facebook. They're up to date. Um, you know, today's the twenty sixth, and um, you know they have recent posts because and they're doing stuff. And it's just the fact that they're on Bitrix. You know, to me, it, it keeps, keeps, it makes me feel as though they have something going on that, you know, is not necess not more than likely going to back up and go away and be, um, you know, because Bitrix doesn't um, just um, allow anybody on their exchange. So with that, I am going to um, say one more thing, and that's essentially, if you would like to find out more about um what I'm doing to make um, money online. You can um, look at some of my other videos and actually um, you can see that the most exciting thing that I'm doing is being involved with Unify, which is a fantastic company that is providing um, cryptocurrency trading signals and cryptocurrency education. So education is something that people can utilize in order to make their lives better and to make the lives of their loved ones and family better. And where else can you get great crypto education? There's a bunch of different companies, but there's some great reasons why to um, you can check us out who are involved in Unify because not only are we involved, not only is Unify a great company that has a uh, wonderful information, they have a vision and a purpose to really help the world, to help people in unbanked um, countries to be able to ha be able to make money. Um, they and they help you don't they don't take your you don't have to give them your money. To, you know you you do buy a subscription the same as what you would if you were buying any other subscription but they don't take your money and trade it and give you some kind of return which is uh, a good thing because a lot of us had been in programs like that last year or, or whenever <laughs> if I don't know if there were many before that but I know last year many people were involved in programs that took your money they promised that they're going to give you a percentage back and maybe it, did, it was good for a little while but then they crashed and burned and people lost money so Unify isn't like that and um, it's really giving me and other people like myself who uh, and, uh, who have been wanting to be able to create for many years like some sort of stable um, passive income and give ourselves um, an opportunity to know that um, learn how to trade that was another thing that that is really nice about it um, and also to build uh, a team and to be, be able to support other people to be able to change their lives by having extra money we don't have to go and work two or three jobs driving there's nothing wrong with driving Uber or any of these types of things. It's just that it, there are other choices that a person can make and another lifestyle and other lifestyles that they can have. And that's that's why I do what I do. So um, the last thing that's so exciting and so important about um, being involved on, um, with, uh, with Unify is the team that we're on. <laughs> it was like... This is the most incredible marketing team I've ever seen. I've never seen an, you know, a team that has laid out the duplication of how to help other people to be able to become involved and duplicate um, with, a, with a funnels and 
emails and you know like all that stuff that it takes years for people to learn how to market you know there are plenty of people who have had 25 years experience and they may be on Facebook or wherever and and, and they, they they know how to build like a team of people so that you can get paid like uh, in addition to your your money for it that you that you may be trading and making profits but you can take those profits you can compound but you can also make affiliate commissions by recommending a fantastically great program to other people and then use those to add to your money and and then compound that so you're building the wealth that you always dreamed of you know like you know it's one thing to do that by yourself but when you can have other people that you directly support to be able to have that change in their lives where now you know they're achieving their wealth goals and having their dreams of what they wanted to accomplish it's really exciting so um that's one of the reasons why i'm really excited about being with our team um because i've never been in any kind of opportunity and i've been doing different opportunities um you know over my lifetime not I took a long chunk of years where I did not mess around with any type of um, passive income. You know, I basically worked a job for a while. and But then a couple of years ago, I got back involved in thinking like, hey, you know what, I would like, you know, I saw one opportunity that I really liked. And I thought that one would be so good, but it really didn't pan out. But one thing about life, no matter what happens, is that you... Uh, a person can never you can never quit on your goals you, know, you can't quit on yourself you just have to know that you know if this didn't work keep going find something that does work learn from your mistakes so that's what I've been doing I've, been, I've learned I, last year I learned from a bunch of mistakes you know I don't blame anybody I'm not mad at people you know <laughs> you know life is to be enjoyed and knowing and trusting that life is bringing the good stuff to me that's what's bringing the good stuff and this is good stuff um, so and unify so uh, um, the power network may be good too and the only reason why I like to make videos about other things other than just unify is because you know people oh one of the and what and unify didn't recommend power network or anything but one of the products in unify is um, an altcoin report so the essentially it's like there's a big world of cryptocurrency out here and how are you going to take advantage of something that's here that's going to open up doors for many people will you be one of those people I don't know but you can join our team and have a shot at it not a shot at it it's, it's not only more it's more than a shot it's like pretty much if you follow the steps that people who have um, know who know how to make um, who know how to be successful and know how to make uh, six and seven eight figure uh, a, a, a month or you know then you can follow if they if they're willing to teach you how to do it and you follow what they they teach you and give you the tools then you have no it's it's nothing that's going to stop you from being able to do that um, because you are being set up to be able to have that happen because you have to be, you have to do the work and um, you know essentially that's it you have to do the work so with that um, I am going to do one more thing and I will put up I'm going to go ahead and uh, end with um, just the Unify page in case you if you want to know more about Unify I have a couple of other videos and um, Unify has like I told you signals, all coin reports and you can find out all about the product there's a pro I, I even I, I think there's a video from two days ago where I, I showed the product video you can use um, the link in the description to sign up and I will personally coach you and also you know, you'll be part of our whole group and our team works together to lots of tools lots of information you never have to feel like you're alone now you've now you paid your money and like um, 
what to, what to do next. There's a system that's laid out in a very structured, organized way for you to be able to know exactly what to do. And so with that, I'm going to be getting off here. And um, with my motto is question everything. So when I say that, I mean, look inside yourself and see what your thoughts are, what your what your feelings are. Is it anything that's going on in your mind, in your consciousness, that's stopping you from having the wealth you want, stopping you from having the relationships you want, the life you want? Because when you have self-knowledge and self-awareness, then you can see, you know, well, do I really want to choose this any longer? You know, maybe things aren't working and maybe you don't want to have that anymore. You know, so that you can do whatever it takes to let go of limiting beliefs. So with that, I am going to say peace out, like and subscribe, click on the link for Unify, write a comment, my email is going to be there, get in touch with me, I'm here to support you in any way that I can help you, and I shall see you on the next video.